Welcome to Packet Tracer 6.3.1.8 Exploring Internetworking Devices. Objectives Part 1 Identify physical characteristics of internetworking devices. Part 2 Select correct modules for connectivity. Part 3. Connect devices. Background. In this activity, you will explore the different options available on air networking devices. You will also be required to determine which options provide necessary connectivity when connecting multiple devices. Finally, you will add the correct modules and connect the devices. Note, scoring for this activity is a combination of packet tracer automated scoring and your recorded answers to the questions posed in the instructions. Part 1. Identify physical characteristics of internetworking devices. Step 1. Identify the management ports of a Cisco router. Click the East Router. The physical tab should be active. Zoom in and expand the window to see the entire router. Which management ports are available? Auxiliary ports and console ports are available for management here and here. Step two, identify the LAN and WAN interfaces of a Cisco router. Which LAN and WAN interfaces are available on the East router and how many are there? There are two WAN interfaces and two gigabit ethernet interfaces. Click the CLI tab and enter the following commands. Show IP interface brief. The output verifies the correct number of interfaces and the des designation. The VLAN 1 interface is a virtual interface that only exists in software. How many physical interfaces are listed? These are the physical interfaces, the 2 gigabit and the 2 serial interfaces. This is, this is not a physical interface. Enter the commands. Show interface gigabit zero to slash zero. What is the default bandwidth of this interface?
that's the default bandwidth. Next, type in show interface serial zero slash zero slash zero. What is the, the default bandwidth of this interface? And that is the default bandwidth. Note, bandwidth on the serial interfaces is used by routing processes to determine the best path a, to a destination. It does not indicate the actual bandwidth of the interface. Actual bandwidth is negotiated with a service provider. Step 3. Identify module expansion slots on switches. How many expansion slots are available to add additional modules to the east router? One, one slot right here. Click switch two or switch three. How many expansion slots are available? Both switches have five slots. One, two, three, four, and five. Part two, select correct modules for connectivity. Step one, determine which modules provide required connectivity. Click East, then click the physical tab. On the left, beneath the modules label, you'll see available options to expand the capabilities of the router. Click each module. A picture and description displays at the bottom. Familiarize yourself with these options. You need to connect PCs 1, 2, and 3 to the East router but you do not have the necessary funds to purchase a new switch. Which module can you use to connect the three PCs to the East router? This is the module. As you see, it has four ports available here. And we, need, we have three PCs, so that would be the module we could use. And that answers our next question. How many hosts can you connect to, to the router using this module? That would be four. Click switch to. Which module can you insert to provide a gigabit optical connection to switch three? This one right here, PT switch NM 1FGE. Step two, add the correct modules and power up devices. Click East and attempt to insert the appropriate module for step 1A.
It cannot add a module when the power is on message should display, and it did. Interfaces for this router module are not hot swappable. The device must be turned off. Click the power switch located at the top right of Cisco logo to turn off the east. Insert the appropriate module from step 1A. When done, click the power switch to power up east. Using the same procedure, insert the appropriate modules from step 1B into the empty slot farthest to the right in both switch 2 and switch 3. Don't forget to turn power off before you insert the module. And don't forget to turn the power back on. Use the show IP interface brief command to identify the slot in which the module was placed. Into which slot was it inserted? Right here, that's where it inserted. Right here. <clears throat> Click the West Router. The physical tab should be active. Install the appropriate module that will add a serial interface to the enhanced high speed WAN interface card slot on the right. You can cover any unused slots to prevent dust from entering the router, optional. And then after that, use the appropriate command to verify the new serial interfaces are installed. This is the correct card, and we'll be putting it into the slot here. Make sure power's off. And the option is to cover this one with a plate. Go over here to cover and drag it and drop it to keep dust out of the router. Part 3, Connect Devices. This may be the first activity you have done where you are required to connect devices. Although you may not know the purposes of the different cable types, use the table below and follow these guidelines to successfully connect all the devices. Select the appropriate cable type. Click the first device and select the specific interface. Okay, let's start. Let's start with the east. I'm going to connect copper straight through to the east. We'll connect it to gigabit zero zero. We're going to switch one to gigabit zero one. Another copper straight through cable from east. 
you give it Ethernet 01. And we're going to switch 4. Gigabit Ethernet 01. Back to east again, same cable. Fast Ethernet 010. PC 1. Fast Ethernet 0. Same cable. Fast Ethernet 0 1 1. PC2, fast Ethernet 0. Same cable. East, fast Ethernet 0 1 2. PC3, fast Ethernet 0. Switch 1, same cable type, copper straight through. Switch 1, fast Ethernet 1. PC4, fast Ethernet 0. Copper straight through, switch 1, fast Ethernet 0, 2, PC5, fast Ethernet 0. Copper straight through, switch 1, fast Ethernet 0, 3, to PC6, fast Ethernet 0. Okay, switch 4, we need now a copper crossover. So let's go switch 1. I'm sorry, switch four. And we're going to go gigabit zero two. And we're going to switch three. And gigabit three dash one. Next, switch three needs a fiber. Fiber will go from gigabit five one to switch two. Gigabit 5.1. Next, switch to copper crossover. And that's the fast Ethernet 0, 1. The PC7, fast Ethernet 0. Same cable, switch to fast Ethernet 1, 1. The PC8, fast Ethernet 0. And one more, switch to again. Fast Ethernet 2, 1, PC 9, Fast Ethernet 0. Next thing is to connect East and West with a serial DCE connection, which is right here. So from East, serial 000, to West, serial 000. And we're all done. We're connected. Everything here is connected. Two out of 52. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you can be updated with further Packet Tracer Labs. Thank you for watching.